Good afternoon. This is our aeroponic greenhouse, high pressure aeroponics, 16 foot long. As you can see here in northern Quebec, it's changing uh, colors. It's fall and we're getting geared up for a winter season. We did a few things uh, recently. Oh, hey. <laughs> Jeff has dug uh, four, four feet under the table, so we have geothermy going on and we put electric wires, heating wires, inside the root chamber. So maybe, um, it's experimental, but maybe uh, when, we get, when we reach a lower temperature, even if the air is lower inside the root chamber, it's going to always stay above 21. So that's gorgeous and as you can see uh, peppers are doing well we have limo Ay Ay limo king of the north Charapita. yes <laughs> this one is in a can <laughs> part of the system but we have a cat uh, bell pepper coming up here. Mm -hmm. come see here oh. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's dark. Oh, here. Let's see. That's under the table. The reservoir is underneath, so it's always uh, heated by the, by the ground. It's safe there from the from the freeze. The whole table can go up and down. Like this. It's a neat project. We have uh, tomatoes over there. Tomatoes are going crazy. They're reaching the top already. Soon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look, check some more. Um, so cute. Normally we attach them in commercial use. I didn't buy those kit. So they're just like that. I always rewire them so they don't get stuck. We have um, a mist uh, <coughs> to control the temperature when we have a, a lot of... Yeah, when it's too hot it, it gets uh, the temperature down quickly. Also, we had the blower going on this summer, but now there's no use anymore. We rarely, they're still there. It's gonna be uh, removed soon. Well, actually, I'm gonna put a double layer and I'm gonna vent yeah. the outside soon. Yeah, this is only a single see the layer other right shop. now. Let's go see the other yeah. shop. The other shop is a bit more ready for winter, and we expect that it will last longer too. It's actually a shed that's been converted we call it the grow shed or the green shed I don't know what you guys think it's the best name so it's all uh, insulated with R20 <coughs> we have the aeroponic uh, high pressure aeroponic the same technology we have on the other side here it's in a compact version two shelves and here it's uh, all hydroponic rock wool. Tomatoes are doing so good. We're trying to wait before harvesting, but our kids are just uh, munching on them so fast. It's so cute. It's a bit diverse. We have a few different genetics going on. The cherry, red cherry commercial tomatoes um, here. but also a few um, rustic ones yellow like the pear okay. it's pretty cool espalette peppers and bell peppers even up there GF put them there <laughs> oh. 
Hopefully he doesn't forget about them. Chili, cayenne actually. And also watermelons. And a cute. Hi ladybug. So there you go. We'll give some news over the winter to see how far we go. Last year with a small solarium we did all winter. Now it's a huge project. 30 feet long. It's my next container. We also have the strawberry downside down there. Yeah, strawberries are going to sleep this winter. Thank you. For have a good one.